hello guys uh welcome back to the channel this is tj and today um i have another video for you uh and today we'll be checking um the battery change the last time uh a battery change was done on this car and also reading the uh, the, the, the the capacity of the of the battery that is currently installed However, uh, the, the car does not peak on its own or automatically when you change a battery. You'll have to, 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 to register a, a, a battery change every time you change your battery. And you also have to um, code in the new amp hours or the capacity for that battery if uh, there is a change. So supposedly you had, um, let's say, a 90 amp hour battery and you have now changed and installed a, a 110 amp hour battery you need to have that changed this is very important so that your car knows how to charge uh, your battery uh, and have a power evenly distributed in, in your car and uh, also avoid situations where the battery uh, is killed by the alternator uh, battery cells are damaged by the alternator because you are you know uh, under charging or overcharging or is the other way around the battery damages your alternator because it's charging it the wrong uh, uh um, using the wrong amps because you did not register or change the bus battery coding the new battery capacity so that's what we will be looking in today um so right now i have my obd2 cable my um uh, uh deacon cable connected and it's also connected to my pc here and uh, the next thing you do is make sure that you 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 you, you switch your car onto the on position. So this is um, your ignition. So the first step, I have comfort access, so I do not need to uh, you know slot in my my key fob. So I'll press it once, and I press it again without uh, stepping on the on, on the brakes. So you should see all these lights and all uh, everything switches on. You have to make sure you switch on your radios, your lights, so that you avoid uh, unnecessary uh, 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 draining of the battery as you do this process. So now everything is connected. The car should be communicating with your PC. And if there is uh, some bit of glare. I will try to, um, to cover that up. But uh, the next thing you do is load up your INPA. So this, these are the things you should see. You should see that your battery is on and your ignition is on. If one of them is not on, this dot will be white here. So what we're saying is both of them have to be uh, black. So once you've done that, the next thing you do is choose your chassis. Mine is an E90. So that's F6. I can press F6 or simply click that button. Um, the next thing I do is go to engine and I select um, my engine um, my engine number here mine is a 320, 320i with an N46 engine so I double click here it will give those uh, error messages just click OK now the next thing is click on status that's F5 And then we want the power management IBS. That's shift and F4. So if I press, if, if you come to shift here, it's saying analog. But when I press shift, it changes to PM uh, IBS. I click that. And now once I'm here, uh, if I want to register a, a, a new battery change, I can click on F5. Yes, I can simply click, you know, uh, B change here. So that will register my new battery. Um, but what I want to do is check um, the readings of the battery changes that have been done. So I click on PM field one right there. And it tells me, it, it gives me my current um, mileage. It also gives me... Um, the last time my, uh, my, my, my uh, a battery change was done on this car was 114 it, it was at 114300 kilometers uh right now i'm at 135600 
34 kilometers which makes sense uh, that's exactly the last time I did a battery change uh, if we want to read what's uh, the battery capacity that's currently registered in the car we click on PM field 2 right here and it tells us that currently we have um, a 55 uh, amp hour battery installed in the car I'm sorry about the glare guys but uh, hopefully you will be able to see here um, so the next part of this video will be um, how to change that battery capacity and I will be doing it in, in in NCS Expert. So the next thing from here is to close INPA and jump into NCS Expert and I will take you through how we we change the, the, the new battery capacity. I have uh, a different capacity, so I have to change that 55 amp hour as I have uh, installed a bigger a battery with a bigger capacity there. All right, so I did a little improvise. I put my laptop down there to uh, get rid of that glare. So now that we we are dashing into NCS Expert, uh, we can uh, open up NCS Expert to now we want to do the process of changing um, the battery capacity that's in currently coded in the car. So the first thing you do is load up. Uh, a profile I'm going to be using uh, rev doors uh, I'll click f1 to and then to read the fa uh, focus 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 yes I click f3 and I choose my chassis and I'm going to read the fa um, from the CAS, so right there it displays my VIN number and uh, my vehicle order uh, down there. Uh, I can click back, um, click process ECU, and I will select the CAS because this is where we want to 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 read uh, the information from. Um, I will change the job. I have selected the ECU, so when uh, you, there is a lot of things that you can do on that ECU that you have selected. Right now, the job that is being selected is SG coding. I uh, I believe that is that means to code uh, or to execute. So I will click um, change job and read the index. Uh, so code during index listen listen i think that means read or listen or fetch the data that's in the the index data that's in that ecu uh, i hit ok and i click as you can see the job name is now the one we selected i'll click execute job it will say coding active and once it says uh, job ended that means it is now created um a, a trace file uh, in my work folder so now i go to my c c drive ncs expert uh, i open my work folder and as you can see there is a new trace file that was just created at 2 16 pm which is roughly uh the current time right now focus 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 it's now 2 17. so double click that trace file double click that trace file and we know that it's it's uh it's it, it's 55 amp hour uh so we want to change that we search for battery but as you can see most of these things if not all are written in german so the way they write their battery is battery with an ie like that so you hit find you want to find uh this part where it says class battery class or something where is it Okay. Yeah, where well, it says battery class, as you can see, it's 55 amp hours. So now that I have a 90 amp hour battery, I'll put in 90 right there. Let me just close this. I will hit file. 
servers and I will save this as a um, main file uh, a dot for the manipulation file that's a dot a man file and uh, save it in in the work folder it already exists so I overwrite that yes I can close this one now and go back to my NCS expert now we're back in NCS expert we click uh, basic functions uh, we click on co-op uh, read sg get fsw psw we click ok and it says basic function perfect ended um, now we change job here we pick um, it should be sg codiron so click execute it says coding active right here and then it says coding active the car flashed and um you know it just blinks the lights turn on and off so that means the the process would be done um i can go ahead and close this but before i do so i will need to cycle my ignition and to that to do that i just press on uh, the, the button here switch it completely off uh, ideally you have to wait about 10 seconds and i'm sure that is passed you can uh, switch it back on and this time if we go back into in power we should be able to to see that battery change uh to see that that uh, battery change has taken effect has taken effect so i can close uh NCS expert here the uh, instances where these two conflict so it has to be one running at a time so i have my in power here uh so remember we have an our, our, we have our e90 we click engine we click um n46 okay okay uh we hit status down there um power management ibs that's shift f4 so i'll press shift and hit f4 i'll open uh, uh pm2 field uh and it says right here the battery capacity is now 90 amp hour uh, this is where we saw that it was 55 amp hour so this means that we have successfully uh, configured the new battery capacity in the car um, that is all for this video guys um, I hope you liked it and I hope you learned a thing or two be sure to uh, comment down in the se in, uh, down below in the comment section if you have any questions or uh, just Give me some feedback guys. Um, I like I would like to hear from you. Until next video, peace out.